Hello, and welcome to this Velux Daylight Visualizer tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to define materials for each type of surface in your model. I'm going to continue working on the model I created in the previous videos. So now I've opened the model, and I'm in the Surface tab. We can see that there's different tabs for each surface type, and under each tab, there's a list of model elements that belong to each category. For example, in the Roof Product category, I can select a different material for the frame, the lining, and the pane of the window. I'll start by setting the floor material. On the list to the right, I have different surfaces to choose from. When I select a certain surface, I can see its properties on the right, including the reflectance, the roughness, and the specularity, how shiny the surface is. I can also create a custom surface by selecting any of the existing in the list and then clicking User Defined to edit its properties and save it as a new surface. Here, I can adjust the roughness and the specularity, but I can also choose to either change the existing pattern by clicking on the Open button and selecting from an existing image file that I have, or I can select to not use any pattern and just adjust the surface color. Here, I can adjust the red, green, and blue levels. The total reflectance of a surface is a weighted average of these three numbers. If you're only interested in calculating the daylight factor, or the illuminance levels, then these individual values don't really matter. It's the total surface reflectance that affects the results. Let's say, for example, that I want the surface to have a reflectance of 85%. All I need to do is to change these three values to 0 0.85. Like I said before, the resulting color doesn't matter. If, however, you're interested in creating a realistic rendering of your interior space, in other words, a luminance image, then you need to accurately choose these numbers. After I've created my surface, I click OK, and I have a new custom surface in my list. I will now continue by assigning surfaces to the rest of my building elements. When it comes to window panes, instead of reflectance, we talk about transmittance, how much of the light that hits the window surface is actually passed through to the inside. You can either select between the existing options or set your own visual transmittance for your windows. Now I will finish selecting my surfaces. And now my model is ready. Thank you for watching this Velux Daylight Visualizer tutorial. 